question. So what happened during Tracy's stroke? He, the night before, he had a real bad headache and had went running and had nauseous and dizzy and things like that, but he just kind of blew it off and went to bed early and he got me up that morning and said he had a really bad headache again and then it went from there. And I, I woke him up, I turned the light on because I was going to take him to the ER thinking he just had something, I knew something was wrong and I turned the light on and I could see where his face was drooping, the one side of his face, of course, I immediately called 911 and from there, ambulance took him, said that he had had a stroke and they flew him to Chattanooga, Tennessee. You were saying um, you went to the hospital and they said Tracy had torn his carotid? Mm -hmm. That he had torn his carotid artery and there's really nothing they could do about it, just kind of let, let his body do whatever and so they took him to the ICU. And of course, we were told that his brain was swelling, of course, and they contacted surgeons. Surgeons called us up. I mean, 10 minutes before that, the doctor, the neuro neurologist had told us that medicine should be okay, that they're gonna try to give him medicine for his brain to swelling to go down. Well, 10 minutes later, we got a uh, call in the waiting room saying, surgeons wanna see y'all. And we went up there, me and his brother, Craig, and his mom and dad, and sat down with them. And, they told us to either, you know, you got a choice, let him die, or he's gonna be a vegetable in a nursing home for the rest of his life. And that was our choice, mm -hmm. <laughs> of course, you know. We all prayed and this is where he's at. So, had a massive left side stroke, he couldn't talk, you know. And how old was he, how old was he when that happened? 42. And you've got, um, so he's 42 and then you've got, um, two girls that you have to take care of too. So what do you think has been one of the hardest things to deal with? Not being with my girls, taking him to therapy and being with him for therapy sessions and stuff because he can't really be by himself or you gotta be nearby to answer questions and mm -hmm. things like that. So, What do you think has been the best part since, oh, since this? Seeing how far he's came mm -hmm. from the first day we took him up to Shepherd and he couldn't even sit up. He would, they'd sit him up, he'd fall right back over. Oh, wow. So, he's came a long way. <laughs> wow. And that was, what, nine months ago? Yes. Just it about happened, a year? It happened September 19th of 2012. Wow. So, now why did you guys decide to do intensive aphasia therapy? Um, first of all, it was recommended. We didn't, didn't know there was intensive, you know, therapy, speech therapy, and um, Shepherd Center in Atlanta recommended y'all. And we just wanted to really get him going. So that, you know, the first year is the best time to do any kind of therapy that they really thrive. So we decided to come here. We live in Georgia and this was, you know, closest or good things about it and decided to come here. So have you seen, what types of things was he having problems with before he got here? Have you seen any changes since before you guys got here to now? Um, yes, I have. I have seen, um, he's not, saying he had his keyword was Morgan, 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 <laughs> and he's not doing that quite as much. And the reading, the recognition of pictures and reading the cards for the pictures and telling what they are. So a lot I've seen a, some improvements. That's great. And with, um, cause you've had your whole family here on and off participating, which has been phenomenal because we've got to train everybody that's kind of been through, mm -hmm. that's coming and going. Um, and a lot of times you, may not get access to people who would be really instrumental. Now, right after his stroke, did he have any physical problems that have resolved since then? Mm -hmm. his, he could not walk. He's walking now and his arm is pretty much back. We just gotta build the muscle up in it. So he could not walk and his right arm was just like a limp noodle. <laughs> so his... Um, and so he does look really good mm -hmm. since then. And now how did the girls, how have they been through all of this? Great. They're, um, they've been great. They've been very mature about it and handled stuff really well. So, Yeah, because that's probably pretty scary. I would yeah. think about the whole oh, yeah. thing for everybody. I'm sure they have their bad days. but Yeah, because it, it, that's one thing that's been really nice is how involved your entire family is mm -hmm. in everything. So it's not just necessarily you in charge of everything. Right. Is there anything that you would like other people who may be in a similar situation to know about aphasia or going through the process of, of recovery with somebody with aphasia? 
know, the main thing is patience. Mm -hmm. That's my big thing for everybody, for him, for us, the whole family, is just patience and just learning to deal with sometimes you're not going to know what they're saying. You mm -hmm. never figure it out. And we both just kind of throw our hands up. <laughs> like, oh, well, we tried, you know. So patience, patience, patience. And that it's, you know, like a day at a time type of thing mm -hmm. where you... There, there shouldn't be any time restrictions necessarily on, oh, we have to be at this place by this time right. type of thing. And, Where, and it's good to pull out the old records from therapy, the things he was doing, because he couldn't even say, a, you know, if you said, what's your name? And now he goes, Tracy, most mm -hmm. of the time. Mm -hmm. He would have to, like, do the clapping thing where he could just even say, my name is Tracy Wallace. And that took them to right before we left Shepherd Center wow. to get him to say that. Wow. And that was just, you know, memorization and clapping and mm -hmm. stuff, so... You look, you know, you get all frustrated and, you know, depressed, like, gosh, look at how he is, but you think, where, where did he come from? Right. And he's came such a long way, you yeah, know. He has.